What's up, YouTube? Don't be rude. It's your girl, Faith, and I am back with another video. So, Ulta is really not helping me out at all because they have a sale on pretty much all the things that I love in the store. So, do y'all know how hard it is for me not to buy these things? Like, it's so hard. Like, it's Kylie, Urban Decay, Morphe, Cabral. Everything that I love, like, it's just on sale. So, it's like, is this a sign for me to get it or what? So today, I'll be testing out the James Charles X Morphe palette. <laughs> you guys, I'm so excited. I've been wanting this since it first came out. It was originally like, I can't really tell you. I know it was around $40, $50. And I didn't know if I should buy it. So I waited and it's now on sale for $26. Isn't that a steal, you guys? Like that's a steal. It's a deal. Just go and purchase you one if you want one. Ulta has a sale. So you guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my video to join the XO game. We're on the road to 1K. So you guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into the video. Okay, you guys, so this is the package right here. I'm trying to let you guys get into all of its beauty. Oh, and my favorite part about makeup is the packaging. Like, I love it. So this says Morphe X James Charles. And this is the mini palette. It's the mini artistry palette. Okay, and this is what he looks like. If you don't know who I'm always talking about, James Charles. It's like clean. That's how his intro looks as well. Okay, in the back, it says, hi, sisters, because that's what he says before his video. Hi, sisters, James Charles here, and welcome back to my mini palette. Mm -mm. I love to glam, but I also have a huge passion for crazy, cool, colorful, outside-of-the-box makeup. Our original palette was formulated to create literally any look you could possibly imagine, and now this mini palette is perfect for on-the-glow glam, too. I can't wait to see what you come up with when you unleash your inner artist. So this is cute, it's signed by James Charles and it has all his um, ads on there, Morphe, or oh, whatever. So, let's open it, okay? This is so cute, I gotta keep the box. I think we'll start hanging my makeup boxes on my wall because I paid for them. That's really what I'm paying for too, the packaging, not just the product, but this package is so cute. I gotta save all my packages. I also have a lot of makeup. Um, I'm gonna be trying for you guys. Oh my goodness, I had to look at it first, but look at it, you guys. Whoa, now those are some pretty colors right here. What do you guys say? Those are some pretty fun colors. And let's take this off. I guess this has the colors that's on there. So if I want, I'm just gonna keep this right here so I know what it's what. And it has a little mirror on there that's cute. Hey girl, so this is really good for on the go because. If I looked at the other palette correctly, y'all know it didn't have a mirror on here. So this is good for on the go when you, hey you guys can see. But um, this is really good for on the go because you can look at it, look at it, look at it. So before I get started, I am going to do at least one of my eyebrows so the look can look kind of complete. So do you guys want to stay and watch me do it or what? Hmm? Okay. Well, I'm gonna do it and I'll be back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So I've done my eyebrows and then I buffed it out with the Morphe 173 brush right here. And it looks like this. And then I added some Tarte Shape Tape Concealer on my lids. This one needs a little bit more, I think. Let me just add a little bit more on there. And then now I'm gonna buff it out, you know, as well so I can have something to apply my eyeshadow on. So, while I'm doing this, I am currently making a TikTok as well. So, I guess I'm going to let you guys see the steps first. So, if y'all haven't been seeing the meme with Rashida from Love & Hip Hop, that song, Make Him Wanna Marry Me. Yeah. Okay, so, I'm making a TikTok. So, y'all going to be able to see it step by step. And I guess I'm going to add this at the end of the video. You want to put a ring on my finger? 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 You want to put a ring on my finger? 
my screen is like cracked so you guys can't see it all the way but i promise you at the end of the video y'all will be able to see it and then y'all will be in the process y'all be seeing me do the process of making it so right now i'm looking in the mirror of the jeffrey i'm not jeffrey sorry i'm so sorry i'm looking in the mirror of the james charles palette while i'm buffing the the tart shape take concealer oh my god okay you guys my camera cut off but now i'm just gonna continue to do this side and all i'm doing is just spreading it out with the brush and so i was watching this youtuber and she was just showing me her different routines with her eyebrows she was doing a um eyeshadow look but she was just showing she was doing her eyebrow routine as well and she introduced me to this brush right here and i can say it does help with the blending in process for the eyes so very great for that tip right here so right now i'm just blending this in and you guys this is my first eyeshadow video on youtube because i'm just really not getting into it so my looks are not going to be like oh my gosh oh my gosh well actually we're going to pray for the best because i know it can be done right amen 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 so now that i have blended that out what i'm going to do i'm going to go in with the powder i'm just going to use my rihanna powder so i really don't have no um fallout with the eyeshadow i really shouldn't have any fallout with this eyeshadow though because it's supposed to be some really good eyeshadow right here uh oh i almost got that in my eye i'm sorry you guys i couldn't see me no i almost got that in my eye and i do eyeshadow first just so i don't mess up my face or whatever the look's gonna be yeah follow me on it because you know the eyeshadow be falling all down here look at this all right here you see what I'm saying? Okay. But me record the TikTok because me, oh no. What did I do? Let me watch TikTok back. So now I'm finna open this on TikTok to let them see what I'm doing. Like the next process of this. So I'm finna set the timer. Okay. Okay, I think that went good. Let's see. No, let's retake it, you guys. So this was the struggle of me making TikToks. I always it always takes me like an hour on this. Ready? Oh, I don't think you got that. Let's see. Okay, let's just do one more take. If I don't get it right here, it's so weird. Oh, Lord. Okay, I think that actually went good that time. Okay, anyway. So, first, I'm scared, y'all. I'm really scared. I just don't know what I should go with. But let me bring my brushes. Let me get, I'm using my crease brush first. No, let's not add that one. I need something to be able to pack the colors. I'm going to use my, I don't know if I'm doing this right, but I'm going to try. You see what I'm saying? So, I'm going to go in with my Jeffree Star wet brushes. This JS12 brush, and I'm going to use this to pack in the color basically. And let's see, let's just get on, you guys. Hey, I'll be back. Okay, so I've seen different looks. So, first, I'm going to go in with uh, what color should I go in with, you guys? What color should I go in with? I think I'm going to go in with, I'm going to do a bold color bold look because these, these are some bold colors. So maybe I should go in, which I, we're going to go in with the blue, you guys. So I'm going in with this blue right here. Oh, that doesn't have any fallout. And fallout is like when you 
put your dip your brush into your um, eyeshadow and all of it just start coming out that's what I mean by, by fallout so these colors seem really pigmented and that's a good thing so let's just see how this works so I'm going to start in the inner crease I'm just going to pack it in there I'm not going to blend it out right now I'm just going to pack it in there we're going for a fun festive look I mean that's what James Shaw is all about colors so we're just gonna go in with that and we're gonna kind of bring it up so we create a look do you guys see that can you guys see that I, I <laughs> you guys I am so nervous hold on I am so nervous you guys let me also cut on this light so you guys can see a little better so I may have to go back to the store because I wanted these lashes by a girl named Jasmine, she's a YouTuber. And then I was like, no, I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna get it because I wasn't planning on getting the palette. I said, if I get the palette, I'm gonna get the lashes. Well, I forgot to get the lashes. So now I'm gonna do this to the other side. And you guys, when I finish the eyeshadow look, remind me, please remind me to go back and take on TikTok because once I move forward, I'm not wiping this off, especially if I get it right the first time. But as you can see right now, these colors are really like pigmented. They come up, come on well. Like usually when I get eyeshadow palettes, no cap, you guys can see it. If it's not a really good brand, like Juvia's, Juvia's Place, Morphe, Rihanna, like kind of bigger name brands. Not all name brands have good eyeshadow but majority they have a stronger pigment and they don't seem tend to fall out in my opinion like this is blue you can actually tell it's blue on me if that makes sense some colors will come out and it look totally different okay so you guys this side <laughs> kind of looks different from this one you just got the you can just put some concealer right there well let's see what's the difference I can't even tell what's the difference. I guess this side is higher up. Let's give it some space. Okay, I guess I can fix it like that. Okay, so not bad, not bad, not bad. What y'all think? Okay, so first I went in with the blue. So what color should I go in with next? I think I'm gonna go. I want to go in with bright colors so you'll be able to see it. So I guess I'm gonna go in with this yellow right here. So I'm gonna go in with the yellow. I'm really confident this is gonna look yellow on me. That's pretty. I should have went in with pink. What you guys think? Okay, can you guys see me? So now I'm going in with the yellow. Maybe I shouldn't have because when it mixes, it's gonna look a little bit green. But let's pray when I. Brush this out, it comes out right. And you guys, if this eyeshadow looks come out, come out really good. I'm going back to the store to get those lashes. Period. I have to. To complete the look. Cause I have lashes, but they're really natural. I need like a more bolder look if that makes sense. Like a lot of value. Volume. Volume. Yeah. Okay, so that's what it looked like. You guys, I feel very artistic. And not because it's the palette, but I'm stepping outside of my comfort zone. Like, who wears colorful makeup like this on a daily basis? Not too many people. Not here, not in, not in Montgomery. Just wearing colors, like, without a reason. And I feel like when I get down pegged, that's gonna be me. Okay, so I'm looking at these, and these colors are actually really really cute together oh my goodness that's so cute did I go how far did I go that's enough okay so now I'm just gonna pack this in on both sides you guys this is really cute Okay, so this is different. This is different. And you guys, we are going to blend these a little better. I guess we can go ahead and do blend these kind of together so they fade and transition well. 
I'm gonna be really light because I want it to look good. Okay, that actually looks kind of good. Next, let's go in right here. And that's cute because when it's kind of funny as well. Again. When it blends in, it gives it a green transition. Chris. That's cute. I'm going to let y'all see what I'm talking about. Y'all see what I'm talking about? Like it kind of gives it a green transition in the middle. Okay. Come on, James Charles. Come on, bro. Thank you. Okay, this is kind of looking. Oh. Really cute. I'm gonna add some more to pack it in right here. I'm gonna do the same on this side. And then. Okay, after we've done the yellow, what should I do next? We're gonna do two more colors. So after the yellow, let me see. Let's see what's after this yellow. Okay, so I love pink. I got on pink now. Might as well go in with this hot pink. Like, this is hot. This is really cute. And you guys, I'm cleaning out the brush as I apply new product on here. Okay, so now I'm going to go in. Let me get a little closer so I can see. Turn to the side. Can you guys see? Then I'm going to add some pink. Oh, okay, that's cute. Now that's cute. When I go into the store to get glass, they don't think I'm crazy, y'all. Uh, Cause I'm gonna have all this eyeshadow on, colorful eyeshadow on. But guess what? I'm gonna do it. Ain't no shame in my game. Y'all, this pink is so pretty. Can y'all see that? Oh, you guys, I feel so good. Cause it, it's like it's coming. You guys, I'm finna cry, like, for real, because it's, like, coming out so well, in my opinion. Like, I like what I'm doing, as long as I like it, but it's coming out so well. And I'm going to kind of blend it in right here. Get a little light so they can kind of get you a little faded look. Yeah, I was struggling with this eyeshadow for a long time. I don't know if it's just, like, I thought I couldn't do it or whatever. And when I finally tried to do it. When I tried doing it with my mom, I executed. So I was like, oh my goodness. So I could really do cut creases. Because I couldn't get it on myself. But when I did on her, it was like, ooh. The next day, I did it on myself. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's the pink. And this is what it looks like. And next, so I got the brush. We're going to go in with one more color. What color do you guys think? I guess I'm going to, did I do green? No, I didn't do green. Just look green up there. Okay, I guess I'm gonna should I go with purple or green? I think I'm gonna do purple just because I believe it'll blend in with the pink. Well, okay, and let's just pack it in before. I... And now we're gonna just do a little touch because I believe there's enough on there. I'm gonna kind of drag it out. Okay, this is kind of cute. And now we're gonna blend this in right there. It's all in the touch. Just try to do a little light. Cause you want it to look like an ombre effect. Basically, that's what I'm going for. An ombre effect. And I was gonna copy off a picture. And I was like, okay, it's just it's time to freestyle. Either you're gonna get it or you're not. Whatever you want to do. Okay. Now I think this turned out well. For the first time doing eyeshadow. <sighs> okay. So they came out good. So this one I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my tart. Well, first I'm gonna go back to TikTok so TikTok can see what I've done so far, and then I'm gonna go back. Let's see. I'm going to hold the phone up just because I want them to be able to see what I've actually done. Can you turn the flash on the front camera on TikTok? Yes, not, but... Okay, let's see. 
Okay, let's see what it looks like. Okay, so that's looking good right now. I can't wait for you guys to see the finished product. But now I'm going in my Tarte Shape Cake Concealer. I'm not going to put it right there because when I did my eyebrows, I used the Juvia's Place Concealer. And that's right here. This is what I used to highlight my eyebrows. And I went under it. So now, guys, I learned this hack. And it was to cut your cut crease with Vaseline. So basically we're gonna try. I'm just gonna get the Vaseline. You can get Vaseline for anywhere. Walmart, Target, anywhere. So I just put this on my hand. I dip it on there. And basically, hold on, let me dip it in my brush. And then I'm gonna look in the mirror. And we're gonna cut this bad boy. So basically, you cut it like this, you draw it, how you want it to cut, text message, let me shut it off, and then, I don't know if you guys saw that, if y'all can see that, I'm going to do it again. Simple dimple baby wipe. Put your finger in there like that, and you just wipe off the places you put the best in. I'm scared. I'm mess this up. Okay guys, so what I did, don't mind this, I had did this to kind of separate what I'm trying to do. So, what I've done was I hit the inside white and now what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do the wings that's out here. From right here to here, I'm going to do those in colors. I think I'm going to do colors that I haven't done. So I'm going to use the brush that I used to conceal or whatever with to actually do that. So, I took the green. And now I'm going with green. And they have a Morphe brush like this. I just didn't think I needed it. For now I do, but when I finish doing the outside, I'm going to go to the store. I mean, I'll go back to the ultimate process, kind of. You know, this is, but I just want to get some lashes and maybe some color eyeliner. So I'm doing green. I don't want to kind of do the same colors. I'm going to go with orange now. I'm going to make sure that great on me. You got it. And then I'm going to go in with red because this red is bomb on here. I don't even know where this stuff is. Let me just fix it and make it go like that. And I'm gonna go back with the orange because I missed the little spot down there. Okay, in front of the green, I'm gonna go with this darker blue that I've had in here. Okay, you guys. So you guys see what I've done so far. I'm 
gonna buff it out the glue out so it kind of fades in it. But now I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, guys, so this is the end look. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna touch it up a little bit more because I can't really see what's putting it in. But I'm gonna let you guys see the TikTok and see some pictures. I hope you guys like the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out this footage. You wanna put a ring on my finger? Put it on and make him wanna marry me. Put it on and make him wanna marry me. Put it on and make him wanna marry me. Put it on and make him put it on.